Hi, I'm David Lang in the Department of Allergy and Clinical Immunology in the Respiratory Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. If you have chronic urticaria, a condition in which hives, itching, swelling has been present for six weeks or longer, what diagnostic evaluation should you expect? And what is the most appropriate diagnostic evaluation that will lead to your having improved healthcare outcomes? This question was recently addressed by the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology in its Choosing Wisely recommendations. The recommendation concerning diagnostic evaluation for chronic urticaria states, don't routinely do diagnostic evaluation in a patient with chronic urticaria. The Choosing Wisely recommendations have the objective of encouraging conversation between you, the patient, and your health care provider. The evidence indicates that in patients with chronic urticaria, again, hives, swelling, itching, that continues for six weeks or longer, in the overwhelming majority of cases, we do not identify a cause. The term for this is idiopathic, which means there is no cause that can be identified. Now, everything in life happens for a reason, so there's clearly a reason that you have this condition. But laboratory testing and other diagnostic evaluation, including x-rays and CAT scans that we can do, don't identify a cause in the overwhelming majority of cases. For this reason, no diagnostic evaluation may be appropriate. Limited diagnostic evaluation, including limited laboratory testing, may be obtained, and this may have what, what could be called a reassurance value. In other words, if the results are unremarkable or within normal limits, it provides reassurance that no serious or underlying condition is present. If there is an issue identified in the course of a comprehensive history and physical examination, targeted testing that may include laboratory studies or uh, imaging studies may be warranted. But what this Choosing Wisely recommendation says is that extensive routine diagnostic testing is not warranted because this is unlikely to lead to improved patient care outcomes. Thank you for your attention.